Hey guys, today I'll be doing the flying blind across the channel. This mission normally it starts off with a Cessna 182. But what I've done is I want to spice things up, so I've taken a Learjet right now, and I'll be. As you can see, I have a Learjet right now. Alright, so I'm just gonna get. Oh god, this is a headache at times. I cannot get reverse chains because it's obviously bugging with other. Okay, fine. Alright, so we're cleared for takeoff. I'm just gonna take off again. Normal, keep runway heading. So I'm gonna take off. Once I take off, I'm gonna switch on my autopilot and follow the waypoints which I've already added in. Uh, rotate. Alright, and we've rotated. Positive rate, gear up, flaps up. Okay, and my. Okay, let's just. And now I'm going to bank left, just follow um, the marker up on the top left and go towards Paris Plage. Once I'm on the same, um, once I'm following the heading, I'll just switch on my localizer and nav hold. Therefore, my plane will automatically follow the waypoints as you know, bring us up to the approach, and then from the approach, we'll do an ILS on the ledger. Okay, and let's roll out. Nice to just stay above the clouds for now because okay, I'm just gonna roll out. And okay, so let's have uh, navigation hold on, speed hold on, along with my altitude like 7,000 feet. I'm also gonna have and that. Is... All right, so and. Autopilot on. Once all these four switches is on, I'm gonna decrease altitude to almost about four thousand feet, and I'm gonna. I'd have to contact. So as you see, what I've done is I'm on GPS and I've switched on my navigation with my autopilot on. So what I expect to happen now is my plane. Legit shall be following this pink route on navigated on my waypoint all the way to Paris. I really like this plane. The Legit, it's a beautiful plane, really nice controls. It's nice, small, good handling. Uh, let's contact, contact Manston approach. Gonna keep my speed under 250. Alright, so. Okay, so I obviously now she's correcting me for the waypoint. As you can see, we're, we'll, we'll be probably intersecting with the uh, ILS. So let's just set up radio for ILS right now. 
Okay. So what I'm going to do now is just check how my approach is going to be because I I like to look for myself. All right. So we've flown out from L London, and we're going going to follow this pink waypoint. There's only one waypoint. I can't change it right now. All right. So what I'm going to do around is once I'm about here, they're probably going to vector us, vector us out to intercept this glide slope right here. My duty would uh, once I intercept this glide slope with my local with my um, ILS turned on, I need to find out the frequency. So it's one one zero point one five one one zero point one five. So in my nav one, I'm gonna put in one one. All right, okay, fine. It's it's as you can see, it's already inactive, so don't need to do anything. I'll just have to click nav one when I'm ready and activate onto approach. I'm just going to skip these paths. So all you need to do right now is just okay. Okay, so I've got as my co-pilot right now has given me all the instructions for an ILS. I'm just gonna follow how I feel like. All right, so since there isn't actually, since the waypoints I've put it in the plane do not actually take me and align me with the runway, I'll have to listen to the. I'll have to keep an eye on uh, with the, this with the ATC who's gonna help me vector out and line up with the runway with personal headings. So right now, as you see, I'm just following the pink slope, but I don't know about any time. All right, so they they want they want me. Okay, they told me to turn right to one nine or five. I'm not gonna turn to one nine or five because I I see I'm on um I'm on the correct waypoint so I'm just gonna keep on flying until they tell me when they, until they ask me to go right further mode the bearing than I am to almost about two one and I have to intercept that is all right so we're 24 miles away from the runway all right turn height so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on heading and turn right to two two five so I'm just gonna set two two five Okay. As you can see, visibility is horrible, so ILS is going to be the perfect way in order to get the correct light slope and in order to align with the runway. This can be real fun. Okay, so the vector does 225, as you can see in our GPS. We're probably going to align with this one with a kind. Of, okay, so you see the glide slope. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... At around this point right there, I'll probably... Alright, so now, since I know I'm, I'm going to be flying here, I want my plane... Once it intercepts this glide slope somewhere here, my plane is going to start turn left. And do that. In order to do that, I need to switch on my RLS. So let's just switch on your RLS first. So first we go to the main panel. We've already inputted then into the nav one. I click nav one activate. So nav one audio selector is on, and I turn from nav GPS to navigation. As I click GPS, you can see the runway. This is the pink lip, and it's exactly perpendicular to us. The green in in this in this layer jet, the green um, blinks are. Okay, so we've got the ILS. We've still not intercepted it. 
so we probably sent it but as you can see I've turned on to navigation on autopilot is on I've still not held on my approach switch she'll do it later okay so RLS is on I've not switched on approach yet approach once I've aligned okay any minute now we should be we should be turning and now click on approach switch hold on and let's just wait for the turn okay and our and our plane is now aligning with the runway as I told you it's intercepted the localizer and now it's making the straight in for the runway. Alright, so as you see, we've intercepted the glide slope, and now our plane is automatically aligning ourselves. The only reason this isn't possible, like I said again, guys, remember your navigation web one has to be active, and then it has to be a navigation mode, and you need to pull on your hold, your approach switch hold on. All I need to do to take care of now is probably my landing gear, my flaps, and my speed. Since I've uh, got the speed now, I'm going to increase speed to uh, around 170 knots and start incrementing, increasing my flaps. So one notch of flaps are on. You see. Still correcting itself. Kind of overshoot on the right. That's fine. As long as we intercept and as long as we decrease the speed, we're holding 2,000 feet until we catch intercept the glide slope. Just get not done that. Uh, by the time to start decreasing flaps. So we're 13 miles. Let's have one more notch of flaps. Okay, we just put our landing gear down. So our landing gear is set. We are on 20 degrees flaps down. Not gonna use it yet. All right, we are on 160, so I can again drop down to about 140 knots. Okay, and we are aligned with the runway, I can see that because we still have almost, uh, once we intercept the glide slope, we'll start decreasing altitude, so right now we're just holding on. So we've got the clearance for making it straight in runway 14, ILS is on, ILS is active. Just setting my yoke. Nine miles from the runway. I don't like the drag right now, there's too much drag, so I just pushed up. Once I intercept with the localizer and I start decreasing, then I shall put down my flaps. Left my landing gear on. Okay. So. Okay, as you see now, the, the green blimp is coming closer once it intersects with our 
altitude on hold, it will start decreasing. So as it passes in 30s, this our altitude hold will no longer be on. As you can see, it stopped. And there we go. We have intercepted the glide slope, as you can see, and both my speed and my sorry, my altitude is following the green belt, which is a glide slope. Since we're decreasing now, let me just put on one more flaps. And we've got the clearance to land. Okay, so we're clear to land. We still have very li little visibility. I still cannot see the runway. But if I want to see if I'm online, I can check this green arrow, which tells me I'm aligned with the runway right now. And I can see I'm following my glide slope, so I'm all fine. Okay, I guess we can. We should. I see land. But still don't see any runway. You can see land right there. But, uh, it's, it's pretty foggy outside. So I guess we'll only be okay. One more set notch of flaps. And I see landing lights were still on because we did not move above 10,000 feet. I'm just going to arm my spoilers. Spoilers are armed, and I see the runway right ahead of us. Right ahead of us, I do see the runway lights. And we're on line with runway. We're clear to land. Remember, about 100 feet, I'm going to disengage my auto, uh, auto follow, and I'm also going to disengage my autopilot in order to flare up because ILS does not allow us to flare by ourselves. Okay, so I've disengaged my auto throttle and I'm also, that was a bit early, and I'm going to flare right now. Disengage my auto follow and flaps up. And I'm gonna take a right right here on this taxiway. 